Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and I am here with the mild-mannered Samsung Nexus S. It's old school, right? We're going to breathe a little new life into it using Mozilla's Boot to Gecko. So this is their new operating system based on Firefox, basically. And it's pretty cool and you can run it on some existing Android hardware. So that's what we're going to do. I followed these instructions. If I can do it, so can you. So I've booted it up here and it's going to take a second you see it looks fairly normal so you got the google logo you see unlocked bootloader obviously you need an unlocked bootloader to do this sort of thing right so it's going to take just a couple seconds to boot up actually it's pretty quick one two hey there it is okay so now we've got the little mozilla logo down on the bottom that's your first clue that you've got something new here right actually the boot process for this being very very alpha is pretty quick and here it is so this is your lock screen uh right now it does say emergency calls only so it's going to take a second to recognize the sim card uh knows what time it is and we have a little unlock slider down at the bottom so one way will take you to the camera app Camera app's still kind of janky on here and actually doesn't work, so we won't spend much time on that. I'm going to kind of breeze through everything else here as well. So, ah, uh, hey, look, it recognized the SIM card. So we'll unlock to the, okay, I guess it's going to unlock right back to the camera. But here is the home screen that it would otherwise take you to. And you have three home screens on here right now, and pretty simple. So this one is blank. Now the buttons don't work, but the home button does. And you have a little search, I guess, widget there, right? So tap it and it opens up Firefox. And if you've ever used Firefox on Android, it looks pretty similar here, right? So I've used this before and I've got a couple websites already put in. There's the keyboard. The keyboard's janky. It's not great, but it works. And so we'll just pull up Android Central real quick. Uh, the browser is pretty slow on the Nexus S, but it does work. And you see, you know, you've got tabs, you've got, you can close stuff, you've got settings and just all sorts of things. So it's, it's pretty cool to play with. Uh, here's Android Central loading up and yes, it's slow. Once it gets loaded, it's a little quicker in panning. So that's not horrible. It could definitely be worse, but I'm not going to use that as my uh, daily driver browser anyway. Uh, a couple other apps we got in here. So here is a calculator. Look at that. It's got a tip calculator. Cool. So the buttons all work. And we've got a calendar, so I don't have any accounts or anything tied into this, so everything's pretty blank. You get an idea what it looks like for now. Right now, we're kind of looking proof of concept, right? Uh, there are the contacts, and I put in just kind of a dummy sample contact so you can see it. Again, simple stuff, right? But kind of cool to play with. Uh, the dialer works, so all the radios work, right? Wi-Fi works. I've used it without a SIM card in it. Uh, you know, the speaker is still very loud and works well. You can't hear it on this recording, but here I am calling the office, and it works just fine. So that's cool. Uh, and you can actually, we'll duck out of the uh, dialer here and go back to the home screen. You see it still persists up there at the top. There is notification shade. I can't quite get it to pull down. That might be me, though. So we'll go back to the dialer and, and hang up on the office. Sorry, guys. Uh, as long as we're talking about that notification shade, here it is. So it looks pretty familiar, right? Android, we've got a couple quick settings up at the top. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, stuff like that. We can go directly to the settings menu from here, and here's what that looks like. Again, kind of familiar, but not really. So all the usual stuff. I'm not going to go through each and every one uh, because they do exactly what you think they would. We will look at the about phone just to look at it. And there's the, the Git build. Oh, I'll tell you what else we'll do as long as we're here. Let's turn on the show frames per second. We're going to need that in a minute, and you'll see why. So we actually have this in the uh, Android developer settings as well. So there in the upper left corner, we have it showing frames per second. So let's see what else we want to look at. How about the gallery? So it's actually going to find some pictures that are already on the phone. Cool. So here's something from, I guess, Mobile World Congress. Uh, God, that'd be two years ago, a while ago. So, you know, pinch to zoom works badly, but it works. And you can see the frame rate up there. And you have sharing intents and, you know, trash and stuff like that. So, again, very, very familiar. But this is all built from Mozilla, and it's not specifically Android. So, you know, other usual things. I want to look at some of the, uh, the graphic kind of testing suite apps here. So here is a crystal skull. <laughs> which is pretty awesome. So you uh, tap it with your finger, it'll start moving, and you see the colors change and shift. And, and watch the frame rates up there in the uh, upper left, and you get a, a sense of how well this works. And I tell you what, I mean, for something that I built, you know, I didn't build it, but something I compiled at home, that's not horrible. Uh, let's look at this other boxes app, and oh, hey, it's slow. It's not going to load. Sorry. Nope, not going to do it. Okay, try cut the rope. Yes, it's cut the rope, but it's not actually a native app, right? It's HTML5, and it's taking a second to load as well. The magic of editing will speed it up, and there we are, cut the rope. So it's a web app, basically, running on the phone within the operating system, and that's kind of the point of this whole thing, right? So apps are web apps, 
and that's you know the idea with HTML5 and, and Mozilla and Firefox and everything. So it's it's very cool idea, you know, and something people have tried. And it'll be interesting to see where this goes. And there's cut the rope. Well, you've played it before. <laughs> So this was kind of the idea of this whole weekend project for me, right? I mean, this is something that I compiled using Mozilla's excellent instructions and flashed to the phone myself. Oops, see, we rebooted. So it is very alpha. But if I can do it, you can do it. And that was kind of the idea here. So if you want to breathe some new life back into an old Nexus S and want to have something to play around with, this is definitely worth the couple hours it takes to do it. So there you go. A quick look at the Mozilla Boot to Gecko uh, OS on Android, sort of. See ya. Hey everybody, it's Phil from Android Central, and if you want to help out the site and look good, go get the best damn Android t-shirt anywhere from shopandroid.com.